Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my first impressions video of the late 2013 Apple Mac Pro. And it's actually sitting off to the side of me here. Look at this beautiful, beautiful device here. And before I tell you about it, I just want to say a big, big thank you to Hotspot Shield. They made this video series possible and you can check them out at hotspotshield.com. There's a link in the video description and they make great VPN software to keep you safe online, whether you're using a desktop, a laptop computer or a mobile device. And now a little bit of homework as well, just a disclaimer that this is not by any means a full review. I do my full reviews roughly one to two weeks after receiving a device. The Mac Pro is so important that I'm gonna make sure that I thoroughly test it for at least two weeks before bringing you my full review. This is being actually recorded roughly 48 hours after receiving the Mac Pro. So first of all, my excitement. Well, I own the previous generation Mac Pro. It's a quad core model, it's still in my editing room, it's still going strong, it's still a great performer. And this particular one is a six core version. I also configured it to have 512 gigabytes of storage and it comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now, the excitement comes because Apple made us wait so long before they updated the design and gave us a new Mac Pro. And then they made us wait so long between ordering it and actually receiving the device. I waited approximately seven weeks, roughly. It might have even been longer than that between ordering it and receiving it. So the anticipation was amazing. But unboxing it was a real pleasure. I was really struck by how small it is. And I'll actually show you some other sort of images on screen as I'm talking. The design is so nice. Now it might be small, a lot smaller than the previous generation Mac Pro, but it is very dense, so it's definitely got some weight to it, and you can tell that they've packed a lot of technology inside. Now the outer case, I was expecting it to be a matte black or a sort of a real deep black, when in fact it's more like a deep gunmetal gray. You can remove the outer casing to reveal the internal workings, and wow, when you remove the casing, it is just amazing. The amount of detail that Apple and the designers and engineers have put to the inside is just phenomenal. It is so impressive. The way they have sort of segmented the various circuit boards around the cylindrical design, and then to actually present them in a way that looks nice on both the inside and the outside. And then the cylindrical shape adds to like the cooling of the device. Uh, so I can't remember the exact terminology, but there's this very special sort of co core cooling mechanism that draws the heat up through the machine and out of the top of the machine, thus the design. And during my initial use of this, now I've been using it for Final Cut Pro, also for Photoshop, also for my benchmarking tests, and I haven't heard the fans ramp up once. It runs very, very cool and almost silent. You'd hardly know it was turned on. Now with regards to the testing, I've edited videos on it already and it actually processes them so, so fast. I'm not gonna give you any detailed specifics because I've got separate videos coming out on the channel where I show you the overall Geekbench score for the machine, how fast the internal flash storage is and how both Final Cut Pro and Photoshop actually perform. And as those videos go up on the channel, I'll leave links in the video description. So please do check back regularly. But the performance has just amazed me. I've been using my Mac Pro quad core and also a Mac Mini, uh, the latest model at the time of recording this. And both of those perform really well with regards to processing video, but this just blows them away. It's absolutely amazing. There's no other way of saying it. Now, I also wanna just talk to you about who would buy a machine like this. It's very expensive. In the UK, in fact, it starts at £2,499. That is a big investment, but it's not for everybody. The person who would buy this would be somebody who's producing videos every day, like me. I produce videos for YouTube and commercial videos as well. So I've got production time to take into account in my day-to-day -day work. So this processes them really, really fast and hopefully it should be a very reliable machine and last me for maybe four years or maybe even five to six years, depending on uh, sort of how long Apple make us wait again or how the game changes over the next four or five years. It's gonna last me a long time. So although it's a big initial investment, if you divide that up by four or five years, it's not as big an investment as it sounds. 
The sort of people that are going to be buying this also are production houses. Those people have to deliver to clients on time. They're working on video work or graphic design work and they've got to make these deliverables on time. So it's very important that they have a very fluent workflow. So those sort of people are going to be buying them too. For the rest of us, for those of us who are producing videos part time uh, or maybe not really getting any income from the work that we do, there's the iMac which is almost as good a performer as the Mac Pro, but you've got the screen built in and it's at a lower price point. It's not going to outperform it in the long run. Once applications take uh, sort of full advantage of the architecture here, then of course this is going to outperform every time an iMac. But for the rest of us, the iMac is perfectly capable. But that said, am I pleased that I've got this in the studio? Well, of course I am. It is a fantastic machine. My first impressions are that of amazement. It's so well built and so fast, I just cannot believe how Apple have achieved this. And I just thank them for producing wonderful machines for us to use. I'm really impressed with the late 2013 Mac Pro. So as I say, this isn't a full review, it's just my initial impressions. Stay tuned to the Geek & channel for more Mac Pro coverage, and of course, my full review in a couple of weeks' time. Thank you very much for watching. As always, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. If you wanna see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also, you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geekanoids channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.